Assalamualaikum, a very good day to all of you out there. In this video, I want to share three tips. So the first one is how I look at slide design. How do I approach a slide when I started, say, a title slide? So let's have a look at this one. If I were to, sh you know, to, to design this slide, I see as two third and lower third. So let me show you how I, I see things, yeah? So the first one, if you see this one, I'm going to take a rectangle that I have prepared earlier. So if I take this two, this two rectangle, a copy, yeah. So slide, uh, this size is usually 1920 times 1080. And I'm going to just paste it over there. So you can see that the biggest, the title or an image that you like to um, draw people's attention to will occupy about two thirds of the slide. So in this case, you can see that this, the, the part which is, I'm going to undo this, the handwriting recognition, which is the title of the slide. Uh, in this case, I can also use it for my YouTube thumbnail. It will occupy about two thirds of the thumbnail or the, the slide. That's the first one. The second one is that, what about the other, the smaller things like my website or my name and so on, you know, uh, my affiliation. So that would occupy the lower third. So that would be if I can take one of these rectangles, then I'll head back to the slide and I'm going to just click on this and paste it over there. So the um, the height of the slide is 1080. So if you divide 1080 by three, it would occupy about 360 around that, okay? So that would occupy the lower third of the slide. So this is how I design my slide more or less, the layout I don't do this anymore. I don't, you know, I don't pick up the rectangles and put it um, purposely that way um, because I already had in mind the layout that I'm looking for in my, my head. I've, I've been doing slides throughout my entire career as a lecturer. So I, I do it more or less intuitively. Okay, so that's how I design a slide, a title slide in this case, or a thumbnail in this case, that will draw people's attention to my slide. The second one is how do I come about with this particular uh, element in Canva? You can head to elements. Let, let's open. Let's go this and fit. I'm going to open a new slide. That's the, all right. So let's go and search for magic keyword, organic gold and you can see there on my search is shape okay enter and you see all these beautiful shapes of different different uh, shapes here and you can actually use it for a lot of things you can use it for social media you can use it for your presentation and the one i use in the earlier slide is this one and it's free that's the beautiful thing about Canva, it's free. And what's lovely about this particular shape is that it's also, uh, to me, is the texture, the color and the texture. So if I can actually make it really big, you can see now the texture is beautiful. Let me just close this. Look at the texture of this. This is really beautiful, the way um, this element, the texture of the elements is captured in this particular um, graphic, yeah? Remember my tips earlier? The main thing should occupy about two thirds of your slide because this is the secondary element. I'm going to just position that more or less somewhere there. And then what I need to do, because this is a bit dark here, I need to use adjust and go make it a bit brighter. So it comes out really nice in the, in the a bit saturated as well. comes up very nice in the presentation okay so that's in general about 
how I approach the site design. So this part would be where you would put in your big text to draw attention. This element also will help to draw the attention of your audience to your slide, your title slide, for example, here. And also at the bottom would be in here, in this case, would be my um, affiliation, my name affiliation, and my website and so on and so forth. Yeah. My third tip is something that I'm actually very excited about. Just found a an app. Uh, this is for Mac user. All those Mac users out there who actually teach educators or trainers out there and who actually teach online and you want to use a screen to show to your participants, to your students, certain things that they need to be in focus. So I found this, um, they call it, let me just show you, Pro Mouse. And what it does is you can see this, this is my Pro Mouse, this is a purple um, circle and I can use it to bring the attention uh, of my participants to, uh, you know, certain parts on the screen, yeah? Doesn't have to be in Canva, it can be in, uh, in my screen, it can be up here and so on. Right, let's head over to the settings. Let's go to this and go to open mouse preferences. So this in this um, app, you can actually, uh, you know, Select a few things if you want to select a login, member and on off. I think this one you can actually explore on your own. But the part that I like to show here is you can change the halo color. Uh, you can off. It is actually just simply uh, hollow, uh, halo, okay. And it will, yeah, you can see as, as well after a few seconds, you will automatically turn off, which is I think fantastic. Uh, so I keep it on. And you can change the size of the halo, halo, make it bigger. If you want to make it smaller, it's really up to you. You can also change the halo border thickness. So it's actually thicker, it draw more attention to a certain things. So that's fantastic, especially when you want to show people a certain really um, a very focused, very tiny part on the computer. And you can change the lines, whether it's dash or solid line, that's dash. This is a zoom. So for zoom, you can go for, this is quite big. You can go bigger. That's big. You can go smaller or say smaller slide like that. All right. That's, that's big. Okay. And let's go to spotlight. Spotlight will, if I click on this one, it will give you the spotlight color. You can, so you can change the uh, screen color to another color. Um, for example, click on this, I can go for um, that color, like a light greenish yellow. So now it's like greenish yellow and I can of, of course change the size bigger or a bit smaller. Okay. And of course, also you can change the opacity. That's really um, opaque. In other words, it's, you can see only the part here. Yeah. All right, totally uh, closed off, all right? Or to be honest, you can go to very lightly opaque. That's nice. Very nifty touch to anyone who's teaching online, who, or, you know, you have or even meeting online when you want to show something, uh, when you want to show something off to your audience. All right, and uh, of course, drawing, which I'm not really good at. If you keep pressing, I can actually write on here, Hello, but is this not that brilliant? Uh, my mouse skill is not that good, I have to say. And to clear it off, I can just simply press command. Okay, that's uh, three tips in today's video. First is that how you can approach a slide presentation using my approach, the way I see it, simply keep two thirds of your space in a slide um, for your main point, for your title. And the one third is or for your little uh, affiliation, your name and so on. And also at the bottom, you can keep about uh, the lower third for your affiliation as well. With that tip, I hope you will decipher the uh, blank slide layout for your presentation. So that's the first one. Second is that I shared a magic keyword that is organic goal shape 
to get really nice element for your presentation, something that can draw people's attention, your audience attention to your slide. And the third one is I just shared an app, the Pro Mouse, which I think is going to be very useful for, for teachers, educators, trainers out there, especially when you teach online. Highlight and focus your audience attention to the uh, important parts during your lecture, during your teaching. So with that, thank you so much for watching and please click like and subscribe and I see you in the next tutorial.